now as we have encrypted message now let's try to decrypt it let's copy the whole encrypted message right click and copy let's go to files and, and copy this sample.pgp file into our files now this sample.pgp file will act as our input for decryption let's go to pgp demo application now input resource will be sample.pgp instead of sample.txt because sample.pgp file has an encrypted message this is the input resource now i'm going to comment these three things and paste it below this is decrypting so i'm going to use decrypt file here so this is going to accept let's move parameters and uh, this is going to accept input file name or oh, we already have input file name and then key file name this is nothing but the private key because we are going to use private key to decrypt the file so i'm going to give private key file name and then character password i have to give my password my password is admin if you don't know what this password is you have to go to um, first video in order to know what this password is whenever we try to generate a new public and private key pair Cleopatra is going to ask for a password and this is the password that we entered there to generate a key pair so this is going to be a character array so converting string to character array and finally the default file name I can put the default file name as null let's go ahead and run this application and see what happens so our message integrity check passed and successfully decrypted this particular file this is the encrypted file and it says the successfully decrypted the sample.pgp file now right click on this pgp demo and do a reload from disk and you see there is a new sample.txt file if you double click on it you can see the decrypted file so this is the file that is decrypted now you can send this file to sftp server or you can email it or whatever you want so that's how we decrypt an encrypted file using a private key